So these reforms are a really big shift and it requires a really big lift. And for that big lift to happen, it takes teamwork. So there's a lot of discussions about the empowered RC. To me, it's all about an empowered team. So I'm really excited about the fact that I have U UNICEF leading Gen U with a lot of agencies in getting involved. I have ILO leading on decent work with other agencies getting involved. I have uh, IOM leading, I think, one of the first uh, UN networks on migration on the ground. So everybody's taking part in this and it's that team effort which I'm really excited about. What is going to be the exciting piece of work uh, next year is the fact that we're now working on the CCA. We've turned the process around to make sure that the CCA is going to be different from previous CCAs. It's really a piece of work that uh, the um, UN brains on the ground has produced in terms of analysis. It's not a piece of consultancy work. It's also something where we've engaged both ESCAP and, and uh, DPPA and others who are not typically been involved in the CCA before. So next year is when we will get into formulating the cooperation framework, um, which is really the, the test of the pudding of these reforms in so many ways. So how we manage to, to co-design with the government and stakeholders a cooperation framework which is going to be responding to the eight-year, um, eight, uh, five-year plan of Bangladesh, a country in many ways at a crossroads, um, and take all these reform um, efforts and the reform spirit, which the government is very supportive of, and translate that into a programmatic response that also takes into account cross-border issues, nexus issues, um, human rights, conflict prevention. That is going to be the excitement next year.